Surely you know that when one has no aspirations in their life, life goes sideways as it drifts listlessly over the uncertain terrain of nowhere. This is a vast landscape with many, many maps. It's seldom been charted much because those who find themselves there after having lost themselves there and don't actually find themselves anyway have no clear recollection of where they were. It's nowhere after all. It's as much a place inside of you as outside of you. If there are any borders between the world, they're not very well defined. In times of material darkness, one of the most obvious conditions visibly present in the culture is a collective lack of purpose and aimless, shiftless wanderlust through cheap entertainments and one-night stands with forgotten partners. Often the only partner is one's poisoned imagination, adrift in a landscape of strange pornography from nowhere. A place of rampaging succubi and incubi who drain the life essence. A climate of materialism clouds the spiritual aspects of this condition because few of the feckless professionals who deal with the fallout have any idea of the invisible realm. The present-day applications of psychiatry, psychology, and weaponized therapy have rendered them, doctor and patient, into a state of toxic codependence and enablement that only makes things worse. They don't know what they're dealing with. They don't know what to do about it. When practitioners have no idea what is real and no idea what normal and healthy are, it is unlikely they can lead anyone back there, especially if the ones they are leading have never been there in the first place. Both the practitioners and the ones being practiced on are wandering in the vast landscapes of nowhere where they learn a whole lot of nothing over and over and over again. Sexually twisted men whose entire existence is based on making an hysterical mockery of women are given free reign to meddle with children. Naked men in leather harnesses with gimp and animal masks gyrate in parades as if there was something normal about it. They're demonstrating their authentic self. Depraved lizards in human form had certain social behaviors normalized, knowing full well that it would lead to what we have today. The usual suspects make up the majority of all people doing and financing these things. It is not difficult to study the situation and discover the truth of it. Why is nothing being done? Well, shit flows downhill and our leaders are evil. What about the much larger numbers of those who are not batshit insane but are going along with the program? There is some kind of fog or mist that covers the land. The fog, mist, is attended by a stupor that causes a dreaming captivity where the dreamers are herded onto the killing floor in a series of procedures that take humanity from somewhere to nowhere. For his own mysterious reasons, God is permitting the bland to lead the bland for the purposes of demonstration. We shall see. Indeed, we shall see what that results in.